Lucas Media. So, of course, we got breaking news. Bronny James had been drafted, but the 55th overall pick by the Los Angeles Lakers. And we know that this was the highlight of the NBA draft. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be, this is going to break the internet because the Lakers are going to offer LeBron James a three-year contract. So, you might see LeBron and Bronny play on the same team for three years. And, of course, they got J.J. Reddick, Bron, uh, LeBron's podcast teammate or whatever you want to call him podcast partner is the new head coach now a lot of you are going to say that this is nepotism at its finest and you know one player has controlled it no we've never seen nothing like this before where a player can literally start a podcast with somebody that person's the head coach and then his son gets drafted on the same team who arguably probably shouldn't have been drafted this year and i agree i agree with that but like i keep saying the nba is on it's a business before anything all these sports and look it didn't crash on me my little stream didn't crash on me i guess because Bronny got selected but all these sports entities like the nfl how they show taylor swift every three seconds because it's a business see genie bus rob palenka they want to put butts in the seats they know that people are going to hate so much that they'll pay to come see if, if Bronny's going to be the goods or not and they know that this going this is the media attention and they're willing to break their neck or break their backs to appease you know lebron who's really the real general manager of this team you see darvin he threw a fit Darvin Ham was gone. All these other coaches he's ever been with was gone. Who you want? Oh, well, we know LeBron did a podcast with JJ Reddick. Let's let's select him. Now they said they never communicated. Whatever. I ain't trying to hear that. Whatever. I think they did allegedly communicated. But anyway, I don't have a problem with this. Again, it's all about selling tickets. The reason why a lot of them are clapping because their net worth went up a good, I would say, 70 million. Genie Bus, her net worth at least 70 million. And they know that these games finna really be sold out. Win, lose, or draw because they want to see LeBron and Bronny play on the same floor. And this is how I know. This is this is how I know. And y'all know that all of this was already not a surprise. Because before the pick came in, Stephen A. Smith and Malika Andrews was already talking about how Bronny was about to be selected. And, and LeBron got the right to do that. And, you know, so again, y'all can say that it ain't fair, but life ain't fair, honestly. Honestly. And all of y'all who got sons, if y'all could put y'all sons in the same position, y'all would too. I.e., look at Mike Piazza. If you uh, who used to pay for the Mets, if you look at Mike Piazza, let his father, his father kind of helped him go pro, and he ended up becoming a Hall of Famer. Not saying Bronny gonna be that, but that's what happens when you have pool or a lot of these people that work in these organizations. They were referred from somebody's parent who probably was successful or, or previous GM. That's just how it works. But yeah, I, 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 the reason why they all happy because they finna get paid. They finna get paid, and they're gonna take the expectations off of now winning now. And you know, Rich Paul already said. Bronny not his contract gonna be guaranteed. He not doing a two way contract. So yeah, I'm sure Bronny will play in the G League, but of course he got a guaranteed contract. And I mean I don't know, I don't know. Like I said, I've never seen this before. I still think Bronny should have waited a year or two. But you know when you when you got pulled, when your father got pulled like that, it don't matter. And you know <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, it is nepotism as the finest. But I don't have a problem with it. Again, all these sports, it's all business. Like I said. Y'all notice that anytime the Kansas City Chiefs in the NFL get a first down, they show Taylor Swift because they said what she brought three hundred million dollars or four hundred million dollars in in free revenue. So of course they're going to keep showing her if they can get the Swifties to watch it. You don't think they, you don't think the, the Lakers finna do this? You don't think these ticket prices finna go through the roof and that they gonna have LeBron do a last uh, like like a um what Kobe go go on like a last um the last dance tour? Y'all know what I mean? A farewell tour. I'm tripping. Farewell tour. You don't think that they gonna have this and to have LeBron and Bronny do some type of mini documentary? Hell, they might even draft Bryce if Bryce can come out. And listen, this is how the Lakers always run run a organization. And you know, you can say that it's chaos and it's anarchy. And again, to a degree, it's true. But at the end of the day, it's all about selling tickets. And these tickets about to be sold, whether whether Bronny do good or not. They all finna get paid. And you know, that's just through that's just the reality of it. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.